Okay, so if you haven't seen my previous series on back testing, I go back in time and I test different popular strategies to see how accurate they actually are, plus find where the favorable conditions are so we can build a profitable penny stock system. This has turned out really, really well. If you've been watching my live trading every weekday morning on YouTube, you'll know that I've been around 80% accuracy with this system so far. It's really exciting for me as a trader because I am seeing some really solid results on my small thinker swim account and we're going to keep moving forward with that knowledge. Now with all of that said though, it's really tough because I have to be very careful if I do add another strategy to that system. And so in today's video, we're actually back testing the three bar play day trading strategy. We actually got a few requests for this specific strategy for our back testing videos. People seem to think it's a really solid strategy that works really, really well under the right conditions. And that's ultimately what we're looking at testing today to see if it actually works or not. And so if you appreciate completely free day trading, swing trading, and investing content, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button below, and if you click the bell next to that, you'll get an alert every single time we go live or drop a new video. Now with all of that said, let's take a look at these. What's up team, it's John from Beginner Trading and we're back here today for another back testing video. Like I said in the intro, in today's video we're looking at the 3 bar play which is a momentum day trading strategy that takes advantage of a 1 minute pullback. Now if you haven't seen any of my own videos on the 1 minute pullback strategy, we've been posting about it for years and this one is extremely similar. The basic premise of this strategy is that you need an upward moving breakout candle. You need a really nice volume surge with a really long candle and then you're ultimately looking for one red candle to pull back some. This is significant because a lot of traders are looking at this red candle as a dip buying entry level. And so when it actually breaks that previous high area, it can get a really nice surge in volume like I said before and momentum to take advantage of. As the name suggests, you're using three candles specifically, one igniting candle, one pullback candle, and then another candle to actually break that previous high. Once that happens, you're looking to enter this position, and most of the time you're using the previous low of that red candle as your risk area. Once you get a really nice breakout, you could probably use a one to one risk and reward ratio here. And so if your risk is five cents, you can use a five cent reward target to take advantage of. And that's ultimately the way we're going to be testing this one. For the stocks I'm ultimately testing, I'm just looking back on the last month, the last 30 days, and I'm looking at the high relative volume gapping penny stocks. I stream every day, so I'm just going to my trade idea settings, looking at the top four gappers on each particular day, and then when I see a successful instance, I'm tallying up it for a success, and if I see a failure example of this setup, then I'm tallying it up for a failure. That way, we get a reliable accuracy rate that we can plan with, and then we look at also the favorable conditions like I said before. Now, with all of that being said, let's take a look at this session. Okay, so after back testing the three bar play, it showed a pretty solid accuracy rate. Over the last 30 days of gapping penny stocks, there were 41 total instances of this strategy. And again, just to give you an example on how I specifically back tested it, I used the red one minute pullback candle, the low of that candle, as my risk level. And then as a reward target, I used a one to one ratio. And so if that red candle's low was five cents away from the breakout point, I would use a five cent reward target as a scalping testing session. 
And again, this turned out really well. Like I said, they had 41 total instances of this strategy in the last 30 days with gapping penny stocks, and 33 out of those 41 were successful with only eight failures. Now, there's a few qualifying conditions to make it perform this well. One of the most valuable ways to actually approach the three bar play is looking for stocks that either break above the VWAP and then do it, or stocks that break above the previous high of the day. Those seem to work really, really well and gave us a really high accuracy rate during this backtesting session. Something else that really worked for the three bar play was cluster trades. And so basically you would see one instance of it and then shortly after, after that specific breakout, you would see another example of the three bar play. And so they present themselves in clusters and you're able to take advantage of multiple trades in a short period of time using the three bar play as long as you get that really nice breakout or igniting candle. That's really important as well. Like I mentioned before, the shorter the time frame of the candle, the less accurate the play actually is. And so it's really important to have a really nice breakout or igniting candle that have either really small wicks or no wicks at all. That's ultimately the best way in my opinion to approach it, but as always, I'm still going to have to ultimately tweak this setup to see if it's reasonable enough to add to my trading arsenal and my penny stock system as it is. At this point, if you didn't catch my trading last week, my penny stock gapping system has turned out to work extremely well attacking the open. I've been 5 for 5 green days last week on Thinkorswim using this system, and so before I add any other strategy to it, I really need to make sure it's justified and that the strategy actually works. And so in future videos, I'm going to be continuing to check this one, maybe trying to trade it with a small share size with real money, and ultimately we'll have to wait and time will tell to see if I ultimately add this one to my trading system. Alright team, so that's what I ultimately found out about the three bar play day trading strategy. Like I said, the results are really, really solid, but again, I just have to be very responsible because I do already have a profitable system. And sometimes people's personalities just don't mesh well with different strategies, and even though you can backtest different ones, it doesn't ultimately mean it's going to work. And I think we saw this a few times with other strategies that I ultimately backtested. They performed well during the backtesting session, and then when I approached them with real money, it just did not turn out so well. Still, you always get a few stocks where it does actually work, and so now we have our system. But again, I think I need to just tread really, really lightly here and be careful. Start testing it with real money, and if you want to see how that goes, join us every weekday morning on stream. If you're up early in pre-market, you can get a catch of our pre-market chat in our completely free day trading Discord, and it's a great chat that has a lot of talented traders there hanging out every single morning, making some pretty solid calls, and I'll include that link in the description. You can also go check out Trader Mike's Discord, which is super active as well. They're always talking about penny stocks and have a lot of profitable traders there hanging out, including us, and I'll include both of those Discord links so you can have a few great resources to take advantage of. Of. Another great way to help support our completely free content is by go checking out Webull. It's a zero commission platform that has zero commission stock and options trades and a free paper trading software, but if you sign up you get a free stock and if you deposit 100 bucks you get another free stock. And so it has free paper trading, zero commissions, and you get free stocks plus you help support your boy here. And so I'll include those links in the description for you to check out. Good luck in the markets and remember guys trading takes a long long time to really understand and achieve profitability. It doesn't happen overnight, and if you test every strategy you use with small sizing, you'll ultimately save a ton of money in the long run. And so I hope you really take that in and understand it. Good luck in the markets, guys, and like I always say, you can watch us day trade these strategies and stocks live every single weekday morning on YouTube. But yeah, good luck in the markets. We'll see you all next time, and thanks for watching, team.